Hello everyone, today I am going to talk about the dangers of having too much engine oil in your car. This scenario could happen because of one of the following reasons. Number one, your mechanic filled more than the recommended amount of oil for your car. Number two, you topped or added oil and filled more than needed. Or number three, you did the oil change yourself and filled more than the optimum level. I am also going to show you how to do DIY fix for this problem. Now, these are the reasons why not to overfill car engine with oil. Overfilling your engine oil can cause serious damage to your engine. Some common symptoms are oil leaks from the engine and blue smoke from the exhaust pipe. If you have only filled it a couple of millimeters above the max sign, there is no need to worry. But if you have filled it a centimeter above the sign, it can cause severe damage to your engine. And when you add too much oil, the excess oil will go towards the crankshaft. And as the crankshaft rotates at a high speed, the oil is mixed with the air and aerates or becomes foamy. This foamy texture of the oil acts like a bad lubricant and as a result the oil is not pumped effectively over time the engine will be starved of proper lubrication and due to the weak oil pump it can get locked up now this is our car that we did the oil change ourselves yesterday this Toyota car has a 1500 cc engine and its recommended amount of oil as stated in the manual is 3.7 liters we intentionally overfilled the engine during oil change and used up all the 4 liters of oil for the purpose of this video. To check the oil level, we take out the dipstick and wipe it with a clean, dry cloth. Make sure the engine is cold in doing the oil check and the car is in level position to have accurate oil measurement. You can check the dipstick twice or thrice to verify the oil level. The dipstick has optimum level indicators usually with two holes or lines. And as you can see here, our oil is above the maximum level. Now we can check again the oil by wiping the dipstick to the back. Okay, make sure the dipstick is clean and dry or we can do it one more time to have the accurate measurement of our oil and as you can see here our oil is just way above the maximum level it is about a centimeter above the maximum level so we need to do something we need to drain some of the oil okay so to drain, we need here an open-ended 14mm uh, wrench and we need also our uh, empty clean uh, bottle to catch the oil and we need also our board for us to go under the car and we just need to knock out or knock down this bolt, this drain bolt using using the 14 millimeter wrench and then we slowly and carefully um, loosen the bolt and slowly drain the oil we just need to drain about uh, 300 milliliters of oil and make sure you don't over drain it okay and after uh, draining about 300 milliliters of oil we can now close and the oil pan and put back our bolt and tighten it and then we go back and check our engine oil level again using the dipstick so we need to get at most at the high level we should not get beyond or more than the high level so this is the high level indicator and we can see our oil is just on that hole or on that spot so we just now have the right amount of oil 
okay so that is now the right amount of oil so we are good to go and now we can also check if the bolt is properly tightened make sure it's tightened properly so that there will be no leaking of oil and as for this uh, oil you can keep it in a clean oil container you might be using it later on to top up your oil because this is a new oil we just added it yesterday